Hey, this is Neil at UF. Let's talk some basic signal flow. So we're gonna walk through uh, how you'd get just a basic signal in here. So let's go in here real quick. So I've got source here. I've got a condenser microphone plugged into the wall. So we have our different jacks over here. I'm plugged into P18. I need to remember P18 is where I'm plugging in. I also have headphones plugged into HP jack. So that's gonna come up here. And I'll come back to how this is laid out. We've got six mono channels and one stereo channel, overall volume. Okay, we can go in here now. Grab some patch cables. I'm plugged into P18, so I'm gonna use P18. I'm gonna find P18, which is right here. And then I'm gonna connect into, uh, we're gonna go to Vintech 1. So that's gonna be my mic pre, Vintech 1. That's the patch that I need right now. I'm gonna come into Pro Tools. I'm gonna start a new session called new session. And then one of the things you have to pick is the IO setting. So we wanna find the capital studio F IO setting, 4824, 2448, create the session. Okay, so this is defaulted to the focus, right? So I'm gonna change this to the Vintec One mic pre, arm the track, Put on some phantom power, not pop the speakers. And there is our jazz fusion as picked by a student. Okay, so now let's set up the headphones. So what I wanna do is come in here and choose the output. The phones are labeled. One and two, I would say avoid for right now. So I'm gonna start with phones three. Bring this up, option click, put it on pre-fade, and now my headphones are being sent to the uh, hear back. I can also double check that's being sent by the hear back by looking down here and I can see signal on channel three. So that's knows lets me know that that's going. If I have a more complex session, for instance, I have drums set up. Let's do this. And I want to send all these to the headphones. This is my kick snare rack floor, my overheads, and some room mics. And I've got the volumes all kind of set. I don't want to set those at Unity, and I see students do it. You do not want to do that. But what I can do is choose all the tracks, go to Edit, Automation, Copy to Send, and I can instantly choose the volume and pan settings. Choose the input, choose the lane where the sends are that was set to send A, so I'm gonna choose send B. There's all my volumes now mimic this. It won't stay connected, but they will be, there'll be a starting spot if that's what sounds good in the room. Talkback is going to be through here. There's a microphone built in, or you can use the foot switch down below. Simple headphones might look something like this. One and two is gonna be your talk back. Drums, three, mono, bass, four. Those would be set, would stay with mono, guitar, five, vocal, six. Your click track on eight. So then once you start doing overdubs or if you have something else, vocals could go to seven, then you can start doing all your overdubs and get rid of your click track once you have your basic track. I don't put run any signal through one and two. I think it clips on that device. So I just use that for my voice only, but your mileage may vary, but that's just a sample. That's Signal Flow and Studio F.